Blog Talk Radio. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Mama's Time Out, where real moms come to talk. Glad to have you listening, and I hope you enjoy the show today. This is Patty again with LittleBitesNews.com, GiftsPartiesPliesAndMore.com, MamasTimeOut.com, and WAHBusinessDirectory.com, where we offer shopping, child development, parenting resources, and low-cost advertising. Party supplies, gift ideas, and more, along with our social network and live support call-in show for moms. Sorry I've been missing in action the past couple weeks, but our last guest was sick, so I had to cancel the show, and hopefully we'll get Lisa back in the future to talk about teaching tolerance to our children. Um, In the meantime, I have a special guest who will be calling in today who is also a certified lactation consultant, and um, her name is Melissa Nagan. She has her own practice private practice in New York where she um, helps women with breastfeeding support issues, and she is also a regular contributor at about.com in the breastfeeding department or section of that site. She will be talking to us about the busy mom syndrome, and you'll learn about what that is and what that entails and how to get through it. So uh, once again, this is Mama's Time Out Support Show, where we where real moms come to talk, and where we also have a social network for moms to uh, get to know one another. So make sure you join us at mamastimeout.com, and we are here bi-weekly on Sundays at 2.30 Mountain, 5.30 Eastern. Once again, the call-in number is 646-595-4516. And you can also join the live chat free here if you can't make the call. Or if you can't join us live, you can listen to the replay at mamastimeout.com or here in the archives at Blog Talk Radio. So if you decide to call in today, I will open the mics and chat up to talk or ask any questions towards the end of the show. And um, go ahead and feel free to join in then when you're ready with your introduction or questions related to our topic today, which has to do with nursing your child and the busy mom syndrome and how to get through it. So uh, this is Mama's Time Out, once again, a live support call and show for moms of all ages and stages featuring guest speakers, experts, and interviews. Also featuring our social network and online community for moms of all ages and stages, soon to feature various parenting experts and fitness experts in our blogs and more. Um, if you'd like to become a sponsor or a partner, contributing blogger, contact me at admin at mamastimeout.com. And again, the live call-in number for the show is 646-595-4516. And uh, I don't see our guest on the line just yet, so in the meantime, while we are waiting for her, I will go ahead and review some of the uh, recommended sites and resources that I have come across and used myself uh, regarding nursing and breastfeeding support that you might find useful as well if you haven't come across them already. And of course, Melissa Nagan's page is at breastfeeding.about.com. And then there are breastfeeding tips, health, and educational information resources at breastfeeding.lifetips.com. There's articles by Dr. Jack Newman, who specializes in breastfeeding support issues, at breastfeedingonline.com. And of course, the La Leche League at lalecheleague.net, and popular one uh, with many moms, including myself, when I began nursing four years ago with our first son, telemom.com, which gives you a real uh, basic uh, but to the point information and resources on nursing as well um, for lactation and uh, nursing issues. So again, that was kellymom.com. And then a new one that I've come across recently is safemilk.org, which are mothers supporting uh, nursing and avoiding chemicals in our food. So they have a lot of great information there, especially for the moms who our green moms with today's uh, organic um, who are, you know, more into the organic 
aspect of feeding your children and uh, trying to keep yourself and your family safe in the environment. Um, so then I believe that was all. Was that all? Oh, no, I do have a few more. Uh, until our caller calls in, I have a few more breastfeeding resources I'd like to share. And once again, these will all be shared on the Little Bites News blog at littlebitesnews.blogspot.com. So if you um, check there later today or tomorrow, they shall, should be up there for you to, to uh, click to. Okay, so again, there was Medline Plus, more breastfeeding support and issues. Um, information from the National Institute of Child Health and Human Development, mother baby doula postpartum labor support um, and breastfeeding information at motherandbabymatters.com, and then there is HW. Oh wait, I'm sorry. It's CDC.gov, who also provides um, toolkit on lactation support for mothers through the government. And then support of healthy milk and nursing pets. Why do I have that? I'm not quite sure why I have that, but I guess if you want your pets to have a, a support and a health for breastfeeding, there is a site for that, nativeremedies.com. And I just, you know, realized it was for pets. I'll be darned. So pets can nurse as well, which we all know. <laughs> Nursing bra, gowns, and supplies can be found at lactationconnection.com. And one of the top sites for breastfeeding information and support is breastfeeding.com. So uh, there's just, you know, great amount of resources on the Internet, as you know, and these are some of the top sites that I came across and have used personally myself in the past. And... Uh, currently with my uh, children while nursing them. I'm still in the uh, self-weaning stages of nursing our youngest son. He just turned uh, a year old back in April, and he still doesn't want to give it up for nap time and bedtime unless he can't see me or we're on the road somewhere. So if he sees me, it's all over. So basically, what is going on? This thing says three minutes until show. Gosh, I don't even know if this is recording now. If you can hear me, please call in or uh, join me in the chat so I know this is working today because I just noticed it still says two minutes until show even though it said it started. So that might be a reason I'm not seeing our guest on the line yet. So I'm going to go ahead and continue talking just in case to make sure anybody can hear me. And maybe I just talked to myself just now and had a practice run. I don't know. I guess we'll find out after the call if this is actually recording or not. I'm not sure what is going on really at this time. I certainly hope it's going through. If not, I don't know. Hopefully it comes back. Hopefully things are working here. I don't know. <laughs> really frustrating sometimes technology and the Internet. Um, so if this is not going through and you cannot hear me, uh, please let me know and log into the chat. Uh, there was an error on my part where I did not see the show scheduled. So that could be a reason for the problems going on now. I'm not sure. But I'm hoping that it will get fixed because now it's telling me one minute until show time. So if that's the case, I will be repeating everything I just went over, just in case. And then hopefully our caller will be able to call in. And then the click to talk to uh, speak to the host is current temporarily unavailable as well. So I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. Uh, let me see if I can get some 
support here just in case I need it. Somebody should be around, but I don't see anybody. Let me see. I'm logged in, but it still wants me to log in. I don't know. There's some issues, technical support issues going on here, and I'm not quite sure what it is. So uh, I certainly hope we'll get to speak with our guest today. I was really looking forward to having her on the show. And uh, at worst, we'll have to reschedule, and I really hope we don't have to because I know how busy she must be and any of you. Okay, now it says we're on live. So let me start again. Welcome to Mama's Time Out, where real moms come to talk. Hi, everyone. Glad to have you listening to the show. Sorry, I've been missing an act in the past month, but our last guest was sick, so I had to cancel the show. We're back, and today I will speaking, be speaking with our special guest, hopefully, Melissa Nagin, Certified Lactation Consultant of About.com. She also has a private practice in New York, and we will be discussing the busy mom syndrome. Um, I'm, I have been having some technical difficulties here, so... I, First it said I was recording, and that minute said I wasn't, and now it says I am. So I'm starting at the beginning. If you heard this already, I apologize. But hopefully it all goes through, and hopefully our caller will be able to get through as well, our guest speaker. And the topic today is the busy mom syndrome. And this is Mama's Time Out Support Call-In Show, where real moms come to talk. Moms of all ages and stages are welcome to call in and provide their support and advice. Uh, this is a bi-weekly show, Sundays at 2.30 Mountain, 5.30 Eastern, and the call-in number is 646-595-4516, or you can join the live chat free here at Blog Talk Radio by logging in. If you can't join us live, listen to the replay at momstimeout.com or here in the archives at Blog Talk Radio. There is also an option to click to talk to us um, live. However, it says it's temporarily unavailable. So once again, another technicality that I have no control over that hopefully will be working in the near future. So if you do decide to call in today, I will be opening up the mic in the chat to take calls and um, speak with guests to talk or ask questions towards the end of the show. Uh, so feel free to chime in when you're ready with your questions, your introduction, and your thoughts. The live call in number is 646-595-4516. And as a reminder again to any new listeners, this is Mama's Time Out, a live support call in show for moms of all ages and stages featuring guest speakers, experts, and interviews. We also offer a social network online community for moms of all ages and stages. Soon we will be featuring various parenting experts, fitness experts, and more contributor, contributors, excuse me, on our blog at Mama's Time Out Social Network. If you'd like to become a sponsor or a partner with us, contact me at admin at mamastimeout.com. And again, the live call-in number is 646-595-4516. And our guest speaker, which I still do not see on the line, either due to technical difficulties or some other problem that arose. Um, Melissa Nagin hopefully will be here shortly um, to share her tips on busy mom syndrome. You can get tips on staying balanced when trying to juggle life with a new baby from breastfeeding to bottle feeding and everything in between. And anyone who has breastfed knows it's a very demanding job and one that I didn't even realize until I began myself when I began nursing our oldest son four years ago. Um, he ended up self-weaning himself around seven months and was willing to take formula in the bottle. The, ba the baby now, our one-year-old, well, fi almost 15-month-old, uh, he currently self-weaning and does not want to give it up for bedtime or nap time. So if, if I'm anywhere in sight, he wants mommy. Um, and if we're on the road, he'll be fine falling asleep in, in the car. Or if my husband is here to hold him, he'll fall asleep on him as long as he doesn't see mommy. So 
I'm sure there's many moms who have been through that experience. And uh, I know my older sister who nursed both of her girls uh, wasn't able to stop nursing her youngest until she turned three years old. So uh, talk about extended breastfeeding. I guess, uh, you know, there's all situations, and I can understand how that can happen just because our youngest now does not seem to have much interest in giving it up completely. So some babies are that way. Some will give it up more easily. So um, I'm sure once we get a chance to talk to Melissa Nagin, we'll get more information from her on on the uh, ups and downs and challenges that many women who choose to breastfeed run into. Um, if for some reason we're unable to connect with her today, I will definitely um, work to reschedule her and get her back on here as soon as possible. Um, so just make sure you check back. Melissa um, will be uh, sharing information about herself and how she, uh, what her practice involves. Um, she is a board certified lactation consultant and re registered lactation consultant. She maintains an active private practice teaching prenatal breastfeeding classes in New York City and has lectured on lactation topics at Mount Sinai Hospital. So she sounds very well-rounded and a great resource for us to have here. And I really look forward to having her on the show and hope to be speaking with her soon, um, if not today for whatever reason. Um, hopefully we can get, get her back on. Melissa is also a mother of three children and the About.com breastfeeding expert, as I mentioned before, which is a top parenting and baby site where she keeps an active blog on breastfeeding topics. Over the last six years, Melissa has assisted hundreds of women on breastfeeding issues in private classroom and hospital settings as well. And prior to entering private practice, Melissa completed her training and clinical work at the Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City. So Melissa sounds like she definitely knows what she's talking about, so if you definitely need some support, and information on the topic of breastfeeding your child, check, out, check her out at um, her site on about.com or call into our show, and we will definitely get her scheduled. So call in with your questions and uh, concerns that you have. Um, some of the things that I would like to talk to her about would have to do with, uh, you know, of course, the busy mom syndrome and staying balanced between the breastfeeding and and your own personal life and how that how she recommends mothers do that because breastfeeding is very demanding and uh, it, although it is very uh, comforting for you and the baby and a, a great way to bond and connect, it can be a very demanding um, position to put yourself in. And for me, you know, I'm not real open about nursing in public, so it really kept me at home in the very beginning especially. So uh, now that our son's, of course, on solids, it makes it a lot easier to get out <laughs> and do more things. And it's really hard when you aren't comfortable with nursing in, in public. And I think that that's probably another big challenge with a lot of moms that I've come across. Um, so hopefully we'll get to talk to her um, and get some tips and uh, ideas and resources from her as well. Uh, she'll share with us um, her words of wisdom based on her experience. and help new moms achieve the balance that they need and, you know, teach us whether we can breastfeed or bottle feed and, you know, try to uh, conquer any of the myths regarding breastfeeding and bottle feeding. And uh, I know sometimes it's a, it's a hot topic and sometimes controversial because there's many moms who think breastfeeding is the only way to go and other moms who believe, you know, formula and bottle fed is, is fine and safe and you know, it can become a heated debate and topic in, in a lot of online forums. I know I've come across that myself. And, you know, I just, you know, I believe, you know, you can only do what you can that is best for your child. And, of course, you want to feed them. So whatever way you have to feed them, breastfed or formula fed, that's what you have to do. So uh, hopefully we'll get to learn more about that from her. And if you have any tips for picking a breast pump, uh, give us a call on what works best for you, and Melissa will share some of those um, resources and tips as well. And, of course, how dads can get involved. I know this is an area that um, 
I made sure to include my husband in um, because I didn't want to be in it alone because, you know, it was very demanding, especially in the beginning. So he always took part by burping the baby, um, changing diapers in between, and, you know, staying involved that way so that he didn't feel left out. And, of course, then he also took over bath time so that he could have that bonding time with the kids, and he still does that now. So it's, it's really nice for me, too, and gives me a little break while he does that and has his bonding time with the kids since, you know, he's at work all day during the week. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to share more on that topic as well. And, uh, again, the live call-in number is 646-595-4516. Um, feel free to call in and share your thoughts and comments on this topic. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like our guest speaker was able to uh, either call in or log in today for whatever reason. I'm not sure. I didn't. I don't recall getting any kind of notice that she wasn't going to be able to make it. So unless I didn't didn't receive it for whatever reason, I'm not quite sure what happened other than possible technical problems or something that came up at the last minute, but I will definitely work to reschedule Melissa so that we can talk about this important topic together. So uh, I will go ahead and share some of the recommended sites that I may have mentioned earlier if this was recording, and those include Melissa's site where she is a regular contributor at about.com at the breastfeeding.about.com page, and then the Breastfeeding Tips, Health, and Education Resources at breastfeedinglifetips.com, and, of course, Breastfeeding Articles by Dr. Jack Newman, which uh, he has some great resources and information, at breastfeedingonline.com, and, of course, the La Leche League, who has great resources and materials and, of course, support groups for women. And I know I did have to call them a couple times during my uh, nursing, beginning nursing uh, periods with trials and tribulations with our first son. So, you know, you definitely want to get this all the support you can. And I know our, a lot of local hospitals will offer classes and support as well. And it's, you know, great, especially for anyone who doesn't have family members nearby that have nursed before or friends that know what it's about and what it's like to get the support that you need because it is challenging. It seems like it should be something natural, but it, it really isn't for a lot of people. So you definitely want to get the support you need, especially if you're having any kind of soreness or other issues going on like, you know, milk supply issues and things like that. So, uh, and of course, you want to avoid, you know, infections and things like that. I, I actually went through uh, a little bit of... Uh, problems with the uh, mastitis breast infection where I went through that, gosh, what month was that about? I don't know, somewhere around maybe the six or seven month mark. And I was afraid that we were going to have to quit nursing then as well, but thankfully it got cleared up and we didn't run into any further problems after that. So there, you know, there are different issues that can come up and you will want to get support and get help for Okay, and then again, there's the National Institute of Child Health and Human Development site through nlm.nih.gov, and Mother Baby Doula Postpartum Labor Support and Breastfeeding Information and Resources at motherandbabymatters.com, and the cdc.gov also offers a lactation support program, and then there are nursing bras, gowns, breast pumps, and other um, breastfeeding support resources at lactationconnection.com. You'll want to check them out, as well as um, the number one site for breastfeeding information support and, and uh, resources at breastfeeding.com. And uh, another tip I have um, to share during my experience is another great Door to shop for, you know, uh, fashionable clothing while you're nursing or pregnant, of course, would be uh, 
what's it called now? Motherhood, motherhood, maternity, and they were uh, they had some great clothes and outfits to wear during the uh, nine months and of course the breastfeeding period. So unfortunately, I don't see the call um, from our guest today, and I really apologize for that. I don't know what happened, but I definitely hope to get her back on the show in the future. So be sure you check back with us here at Mama's Time Out and join us in the social network at mamastimeout.com. Click to log in and join us there. Um, we're a weekly support call-in show, well, actually bi-weekly now, for work-at-home moms, working moms, uh, experienced moms, stay-at-home moms, uh, moms of all ages and stages, basically. So uh, come and join us and share your experiences um, Get some tips and advice from our guest speakers. Our live call number again is 646-595-4516. You can listen and talk live or chat live during the show, or, of course, tune in later when you have time to listen. Um, feel free to try our daily trivia games for fun. And, um, you know, call in or leave comments on our listener line for future show topics. Um, listener and host suggestions uh, uh, regarding topics you'd like to hear or speak about. And uh, this is Mama's Time Out, where we feature guest speakers, experts, and interviews, and a support site and social network for moms of all ages and all stages. We feature a weekly mom support call and oh, bi weekly, I should say again. Mom support call and show on various motherhood parenting topics, including interviews with special guests. So, as I like to say, it's where real moms come to talk. So, moms, call in, join me, join our guests, talk about the issues that we're talking about, share your issues, um, suggest topics, you know, let us know what you'd like to hear, and Join in the conversation. Sundays at 2.30 Mountain, 5.30 Eastern. And again, the call-in number is 646-595-4516. And you can also chat live for free by logging in here or joining us um, on the live call. And let me go ahead and share some of our upcoming show topics and guests for Next month in July, we will be featuring Arlene Richards and the School Marm. They will be discussing building children's self-esteem and taking Ask the Teacher questions live. So with the new school year coming upon us, this will be a great show to um, ask any questions of the School Marm and former teacher Arlene Richards. I'm also a former elementary teacher, and I'm also hoping to help you out with any Ask the Teacher questions live here on our show on Sunday, July 6th at 2.30 Mountain Standard, 5.30 Eastern, and 5.30 p.m., of course. And then in uh, July, um, we will also feature special guest Becca Marsh, a certified parent educator, who will be discussing positive toddler parenting, and she is scheduled to come on July 20th at 2.30 p.m. Mountain Standard, 5.30 p.m. Eastern. And the call-in number will be 646-595-4516 once again. All shows are broadcasting live bi-weekly unless otherwise posted due to family commitment. So make sure you sign up for our newsletter to keep up to date on the upcoming show schedule. Join our blog at littlebitesnews.blogspot.com or set the reminders here at blogtalkradio.com slash littlebitesnews for future shows. Um, I'd also like to say little, um, Mama's Time Out has become uh, – one of the popular shows on Blog Talk Radio Sly Lady Station, which I'm proud to say. And with over 1,900 listeners now, uh, it's quite an accomplishment. And hopefully we'll also start getting more callers who are willing to participate and contribute. 
Um, our guest speakers have been really great in the past, and I really look forward to having them on. And if you'd like to be a future guest speaker, please submit your bio and photo or logo to me, along with your site and contact information and topic discussion idea to admin at mamastimeout.com with guest speaker in the subject field. I will then contact you with further details and to confirm a date for your live interview. So uh, make sure you join us, and um, if you do feel like you have something to contribute to mothers, uh, your topic, your book, uh, whatever you're trying to promote or uh, help mothers with, please join us. And then uh, we have, our, of course, our support show and the social network, which you can find from the link at mamastimeout.com, where real moms come to talk. And our social network had a makeover. It looks really good, thanks to the work of um, a friend, Lori, at graphic, our friend Lori at graphicexpressions.net. She did a great job. So make sure you check us out and join us there um, for more support and friendship. And, of course, our newsletter archives are at zinester at archives.zinester.com slash 67555, or you can also subscribe to our RSS feed there. So uh, make sure you join us. Uh, stay connected. This is a great way for us to get to know one another. and help support other moms. So thank you for listening, and hopefully this recording and everything went through. Um, I'm, I apologize again. I don't know what happened with uh, the technical talent, yeah, excuse me, technicalities in the beginning of the show, uh, whether our guest could not call in. I am not sure. I will be contacting her and rescheduling her appearance on the show as well, and hopefully it will be in the very near future again. I do have quite a few guests coming up, though, and as I mentioned in July, I have Arlene Richards, the school and the school marm on children's self-esteem, and then July 20th, Becca Marsh, excuse me, on positive toddler parenting. Then in August, I will be having a back-to-school show, and uh, we we will be speaking with uh, quite a few uh, experts then, and then. Uh, we have a couple other special guests coming up, authors, uh, financial advisors, and more. So we are pretty booked up till October right now, but I do hope to get Melissa back on here sometime soon and, if need be, do a pre-recorded show with her and uh, have it air in the archive. So thank you again for listening, and I look forward to talking to you all again soon. So make sure you bookmark us, sign up for our reminders for upcoming air times and guest speakers. Send your comments, suggestions to our listener line at 602-457-2761 or you can leave a message here in the blog or send me an email at admin at mamastimeout.com and uh, I look forward to talking to you all again soon next month and hope you will have an enjoyable and safe 4th of July weekend because we will be here that Sunday on July 6th. So hopefully you're around and hopefully you're staying safe and enjoying the uh, long weekend with your family and will be able to participate with us then or listen in when you get a chance. So thanks again. Have a great week. Hope to see you here again next time for some Mama's Time Out.